Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back, Sim UK here. We're about to progress. Oh, hello. We're back on Starstruck. Skylab crew returns. Sim UK Sim UK's astronauts have safely landed on Earth after spending 12 months aboard the the space station Skylab. Wow. We gathered a lot of invaluable data up there, astronaut Albert, uh, Albert Romano commented in a television interview when asked about the various experiments conducted on the station. But I'll be happy if I never see another rice plant again. Ha ha ha. Yes, indeed. Right, let's keep progressing. NASA are going for a Saturn flyby. I don't believe it. A news program has interviewed astronaut Vincent Thiel about your agency's EV recent EVA repair exercise mission. The astronaut told of a surreal moment when a spatula broke free and floated away into space after it was used to apply heat-resistant gel to a heat shield. It was my favourite spatula, Vincent Thiel lamented. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I wonder whatever happened to that spatula. Okay, what have we got that's reliable? Just the Bismarck. Blast. Yeah, we're, we're kind of held up quite a bit now. This is worrying. Nothing too exciting there. The Uranus flyby vehicle is complete. Gosh, I hope this goes well. Launch reliability is only 57%. Which is pretty blooming scary. Launch date is going to have to be May. There's not really any other options. Let's go. Now we're going to get beaten. So this is it. For the first time, we'll be the first to do something. If, if we could do it, it's going to be a hell of an ask. I hope we've got favourable conditions. Amaryllis. Risky, but we have to go for it. Good straight launch. It's looking positive so far. Thank goodness for that. We're only part way there, though. That's stage one. Oh, look! A bonus! Oh, my wish! I can't remember the last time we had a bonus. So that's the Titan III and the Athena. For the first time, doing really well. Okay, eight across the board. The thrust is the biggest problem. Sixteen across the board for bonuses can't see how we can achieve that I really can't so we're gonna need barrels we're gonna need at least six barrels and I don't want to give up four power for them so the most logical thing in my head oh no it's gonna to have to be this and this So I could buy three of those for that. That'll give me five of those. That'll give me the barrels I need. And that is a complicated, ham-fisted, awkward process that can easily go horribly wrong. I think, forget about the 50% bonus. Let's just try and get out of the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, bonus. Oh my world. That's two bonuses in one mission. Yes, we'll accept that. 
Yeah, I knew it. Give with one hand, and with the other, slap you around the face. That's how this game operates. We'll resist. This is very positive. 88s. Be incredibly happy if we can stay there. All right, so we need more power, so that's a no-brainer. The two barrels and a purple thing, we can do that, but that seems a bit expensive. That, I think, is a good trade, though. We are going to need some more barrels, aren't we? And a heck of a lot more of these things. Just because we need the barrels. Excuse me for a moment. The sun has just peeked over the neighbor's house and it's now burning my eyeballs out. So I'm just going to close the blind a bit. How do we do? Oh gosh. It's not really what we were after, if I'm being honest. A bonus is nice. Thank you for making up for that mistake. Manual thrust adjustment went very well. Cosmic dust analysis, man, said one hippie to another. Right, so we're in a mission completion state partway across. I think we need to go there. We need a bit of this. turns remaining. There's quite a lot of turns remaining, actually. It's going to be tight, this one. That doesn't help. Calculated thrust burn, total failure. Resistio. Oh, come on now. Now you're very much throwing power into the mix, aren't you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, we'll accept that. So that is the mission completed. Or at least it was until we did that. A nice bonus, that's always good. We get an extra one of these. Oh, an extra one of these. It's not a bad position to be in. Except we have no power, of course. So we definitely need power. 
And that's a foregone conclusion. We're going to need some more barrels, which is a bit frustrating. All right, we might be able to do it from there with three turns left. Just need a bit of luck here. One round without anything going horribly wrong would be lovely. Oh! Suits you, sir. Suits you. Yes, we'll take that on. Thank you very much. So that's the 16 we need for that. Um... Grab five on there and then roll out with five on there. That puts us perilously close. And then do I risk the power? I don't think we do. I think we double up on the power. And we use our last turn to complete it. Oh, bonus. You spoil me, game. So we've got an extra one of these, that's jolly nice. Not two bonuses in a row, no, that would be crazy. Manual thrust adjustment, successful, thank you very much. Oh yes, that went spiffingly well. Thank you game, thank you so much. For I don't think you've ever done that before. Right, so all we need now is just one of these. And we can buy that with power. We don't need anything else. That's mission completed. Let's just grab loads of power as a as a backup. Good job I did too. Still get one, so I don't even need I'm, I'm going to resist it. I'm not going to. I'm not even going to waste the effort of letting that go. So everyone's quite happy. Phase one completed. Uranus transfer trajectory is going rather well. It'd be nice to be the first to something for a change. Whoa! Soviet Union is marching. Is launching a Mar Mars lander. The Hermes research complete, a partially reusable space shuttle capable of carrying large payloads into Earth's orbit. Oh, oh. You've now unlocked a shuttle, a partially reusable space plane that can be used as a launch vehicle for your missions. Shuttles are designed in the same way as other launch vehicles, but are only available on crewed missions. Once constructed, a shuttle can be reused on future crewed missions though it will have a fitting time and cost. That's brilliant. It's very exciting. Right, well that alone is going to give us 20% launch reliability, so that seems, well, like a very, very sensible maneuver. Are we going to get some more money? Definitely getting harder, that section. Research the vehicle parts, yes, I know. Yes, I know. Okay, well, you know, we're in a situation where we're chasing our tail. I got distracted at the beginning and focused on things that weren't necessarily worthy of my time. Ooh! Soviet Union failed the Mars lander. I've, that's the first time I've seen anybody fail. That's quite exciting. Right, which one are we going to go for? 10%, 3 months. They're both 3 months. 10,000 kilos or 8,000 kilos. Let's go for the bigger one. We cover, our, cover ourselves then, don't we? Is anything ready to go? No. But they will be after this research is completed. 
Oh, look at that. Zero. That's a whole year where we've done nothing at all. New joint mission available on Mars. That's worth considering. Except we have no space. The two times Delta research is completed. Two heavy lifts strap on liquid fuel rocket boosters designed to improve the thrust of the attached vehicle. That's very exciting, but what's more exciting is this. The upper stage DCS is finally under research. Budget review. No positives or negatives, which you think would be a negative. We're so close now to doing something exciting. We are just wasting years and years and years doing nothing here. Budget review? No, no change. That's three years we haven't done anything. That seems really bad to me, but actually, if you think about it, that's probably quite realistic to real life. They do have periods of time where nothing happens. Here we go, the DCSS research is complete, a large liquid fuel upper stage designed to lift heavy payloads into Earth's orbit and beyond is completed. Wait, what? What needs to be researched? I'm confused. What do we need that we don't have? I'm pretty sure we're going to need this at some point. Yeah, I'm confused. One part requires research. Which part? The booster. We have a large launch pad. Uh, oh, hang on. No, we have that. What are we missing? The same part. I'm not seeing it. It's quite frustrating. So which part is it highlighting? So there's, right, so there's no missions we need, there are no buildings we need, it's definitely a vehicle thing. What is it? What do we need that we don't have? I, I can't figure it out. I see. Okay, so what do we need for this one?
What about this one? What about this one? It's the same parts. Are we missing a booster? Is that the problem? It's really quite important that I get the right bit. What do you mean no mission selected? What is this? The Wyvern. Okay. And this one is... Whoops. And this one is the... The Wyvern. So we need the Wyvern. Okay, so where's the Wyvern? Making me slightly nervous, this. get the feeling that there are some things I was meant to tick off in order to unlock the wyvern. Yeah. Oh dear. So I need to complete the eras and I haven't really, I haven't even done era one yet. What do I need to do to complete era one? That's concerning. Can I swap this out? For something else? Because we don't have access to the Wyvern. This, I think we have. Actually, we have uh, working rockets. Let's go for that with an 85% reliability. Let's select that part, save the design, we'll save over the Bismarck, we'll confirm that, we can build the Bismarck now. Wow, I hope I haven't been holding up my progress all that time. Nope, see we need to do it with this one as well, okay. Edit, load a design, load the Bismarck. Confirm that, build the vehicle, go to the solar system. We are away at last. Hmm. The next mission phase is ready of the Uranus flyby. Okay, let's do this. We are miles ahead of everybody. This is great. We're actually, oh man, we're actually doing something positive. Wow, look at the ice. This is a new thing, isn't it? The ice. Oh, heat. I bet heat works in reverse this time. Yeah. So we've got to warm things up. Interesting. 16 across the board. This is going to be tough. That's expensive. This is going to be tricky. That seems like a reasonable place to start. I can swap that out for some of this. That's going to get us really hot 
We're getting hot is good. Because... Ah, damn, I can't do that. Buy some more of those. Because every turn, we're going to get cooler and cooler and cooler. I think we're going to have to go down that route. This is actually going to be pretty tough. It doesn't tell me how many... Uh, that's a failure. Nice. Doesn't tell me how many elements, heat elements, it's going to change by either. Oh, come on, please. Mundo. Well, that was expensive in terms of power. That puts us in a very difficult position. Oh, what's gonna? Oh, nice. Is that good or is that bad? Is that a failure? Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't read that mission properly. That's a mission failure, guys. Obviously, if it gets too hot, it's an immediate failure, but I didn't read that, so I didn't know. I could have really benefited from a tutorial there regarding the, the temperature thing. So that's really quite frustrating, because I, felt, I feel a little bit cheated there. And uh, we're going to go do that again. And let's just take a bit of time to understand what's going on with the ice situation because I don't know exactly why we failed that mission so I need to do some research right precise thermal control of the payload is vital to prevent instrument malfunction keep heat within operational bounds to avoid payload failure so I have to keep it below I have to keep it in the middle oh I see Right. It's a balancing act. Well, that's, that definitely adds to the complexity. Oh, okay. So we have nine power and nothing else. And that seems the most cost-effective thing. So that gives us a bunch of these. That'll put us out of the heat concerning area. Um, and I think that's cost effective. And yeah, let's try that. Again, we're not getting much luck here. And I assume that that only applies to the last turn of each go. So, I mean, at the moment it's at zero degrees Celsius, which is uh, very cold. So we should get a, a little tick as a result of this manoeuvre. There we go. As long as we're in the middle by the end of our turn, it's all good. There's gravy everywhere. We're bathing in gravy, baby. Nice. Right then. So 
that's a pretty reasonable trade. And we can do it the other way, and that helps a tad. Kind of going on instinct here. Oh, a bonus. We love bonuses. Ultraviolet imaging. Very successful. The read-write time for the collected data was exceptionally short. This command will generate an additional... See, that would ring alarm bells for me. When I render a 4K video, and I have done this, and it comes out at 300 meg, my brain should go, um... I don't think that's a 4K video. But sometime, sometimes my brain goes, Ooh, that rendered quickly. <laughs> Which is kind of what they just did then. Okay, that's good. Oh, another bonus? Oh, it's going very well right now. Keep it like this. This is lovely. We're just kind of bouncing around these at the moment. So we're very close on the barrel front. We're not a million miles away off here. So for, for one barrel, if I can get... What I need, though, of course, is a lot of this stuff. So if I trade that and that, that brings us back to an evil, even uh, standing. That gets us too hot. But then I can do the same thing again, and that brings us back to an even keel. Four turns remaining. I think we can work with that. Another bonus. When have you ever seen this happening? Thank you so much. That's really useful. Failure. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I could smell it a mile off. So what do we lose? If we lose a purple thing, we won't. We'll lose one power. Now, is that plus power or minus power? I think I'm going to have to resist that just in case we go to zero. Because if this has a negative temperature thing on it as well, which it... Oh no, is that a plus or a minus? Oh my gosh, now I'm nervous. Have I screwed this up? I screwed it up. Ah, oh, there's another one. Oh, wow. That definitely adds complexity. So fiddly. You basically can't afford for anything to fail. Right. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, right. Three turns remaining. Just don't do anything silly. Could have done without that, to be honest with you. So what are we going to lose? We're going to lose a purple thing off the back of that, aren't we? I think we'll accept that. But still within reach. Wow, that was a quick turn, wasn't it? Right, so I'm thinking we can only go up to three, right? That's not going to go to four, is it? Oh, that's minus anyway. Well, that's it then. That's mission completed. Correct? Good job I bought those extra power.
So I felt a little bit cheated there when it took it away from us, but uh, I'm happy now that we've completed that. And we'll leave the final stage of that mission to, uh, to the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click on that like button. Really helps us out. I'm so grateful for everyone who's coming and watching these episodes, even if it's only in trickles and dribs and drabs, which it is at the moment. But I really appreciate it. I genuinely do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.